What's up everybody, it's Seth from Fowler Customs and today we're reviewing the Aris Air Jordan 1s. Thanks so much for tuning in guys, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below if you haven't yet, but with all that being said, let's get into it. So apparently I was supposed to review these shoes today because I dressed exactly like them. Um, that was not on purpose and very coincidental. Also this and this, I feel like it's not really a look that I could pull off, so I should have changed. Too late now. But getting into the shoe, this is a GS exclusive, meaning that the sizes only run from very small to about nine and a half men's, which is actually the size that I have here. If the sizing isn't enough to tip you off that this is meant for girls, the name is the Aris Jordan 1. So that right there tells you that this, uh, this is a lady's shoe. But hey, that GS sizing didn't stop a lot of people from wearing the Citrus 11 Lows, so uh, you can't really blame them for wanting to rock this too. Not only that, but in addition to the naming and the sizing of the shoe, the box is actually not your standard Air Jordan 1 box. You've actually got your more common Jordan box with the black matte finish and the gold jump man. The box is actually a little bit bigger than the standard Air Jordan 1 box as well. So, there's that. In addition to the box being different, you also get this die cut Air Jordan jump man sticker, which is nice. I guess. I grabbed the largest size available, which is a 9.5Y, which is actually the same sizing as men's sizing. However, usually the cut on the women's shoes are slightly different, so my foot actually fits better in the 9.5 because I have a bit more room. The official name of the shoe is the Air Jordan 1 Retro High Premium Aris Collection GG. The official retail price is 140 bucks, and the official colorway is Night Maroon Metallic Gold. But getting into the shoe itself, here it is, the Aris Air Jordan 1 in all its glory. The first thing you may notice about this shoe is that even though it's actually a high, it kind of looks like it's cut like a mid, and that becomes really obvious when you compare it side by side with the standard Air Jordan 1. Even though this shoe is technically a half size larger than this shoe, this is a size 9 men's, it's actually a little bit slimmer and fits a little bit tighter than the standard Air Jordan 1. So if you're if you're grabbing a pair for yourself and you're a guy, I'd suggest going a half size up. But as I always say, it's best to try the shoe on in store first if you can. If you can't, go a half size up. But moving on to the materials, you've got this sort of maroon velvet that covers most of the shoe. It doesn't feel great. It definitely feels like a cheap velvet for sure. And um, I'm sure as soon as you get this wet, you might as well throw these out. They're probably going to be ruined. Then again, if it's synthetic, it might actually hold up okay. I don't know. I'm not going to try it. So that's for you guys to find out. Moving on to the toe, you've got this sort of dull maroon matte leather and it doesn't feel great, it actually feels really stiff. And you've got that same material on the heel too. In order to make the shoe feel more royal, because it is the Aris collection, they gave the shoe a gold swoosh, a gold Jumpman on the back, and yes, the Jumpman's back, unfortunately, for this shoe. And of course, a gold Jumpman and air on the tongue. There are some pretty nice touches to this shoe. You do get this metal wings logo and also these metal aglets. They're not real gold, obviously, but it definitely feels nicer because they're metal. Another interesting touch is that the insole of the shoe is synthetic leather. And I would pull it out to show you guys, but they really glued it down. You've got the Jumpman printed in gold and then Jordan written in cursive. And then underneath that, you've got fine footwear since 1985, also written in gold. Moving down the shoe, you've got your standard white mid and then on the outsole you've actually got this sort of maroon translucent outsole. Another difference between this shoe and the standard Air Jordan 1 is that you've actually got these maroon metal eyelets. Overall this is not a bad shoe but it's definitely not my style at all. The material quality isn't great. It doesn't look too bad but when you actually touch it you sort of realize that it's not the most premium shoe in the world. Jordan brand tends to use less premium materials on the GS line so I'm not surprised at all that this is not really high quality stuff. Not only that but the price point is only 100 140 bucks, so there's really only so much that you can expect from this shoe. <laughs> now with all that being said, let's put these on feet and see how they look. That's pretty much it for the video guys. Make sure to leave a comment in the comment section down below letting me know what you think of the Aris Air Jordan 1s or the Velvet Air Jordan 1s and if you'd rock them. And as always guys, thank you so much for watching. Please make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to Fowler Customs if you want to see more content just like this and follow Fowler Customs and all other forms of social media.